I think that um, we are going to start talking about mortgages because I think we need to stay on this for just a little bit. Let me pick this up here. I want someone to give me an idea of what you want to look at numbers with a mortgage because we did those earlier today and I feel like that people really need to know that the mortgages are where we can win. 242-975-7.6%. Was that right? 242-975. One year in. Now this right here, this is crazy interest. All right, we are going to pull up this mortgage. We wanna look at it. So we're gonna get our Carl's mortgage calculator and we're gonna put in 242. 975 at 7.6%. Wow. Okay. Here we go. So uh, they are a year in. If he used a line of credit to put $10,000 on two, this. Yeah, so he wants it to be $232,975. Okay. This is what he's going for. So according to Carl's mortgage calculator, so a year in, he would be at 240,778 approximately. So this is the begin, this is the original amount. This is where he should be after one year. And he's wanting to be at 7.78 approximately. So let's see what month gets him there. 2.38.87 would have him there in March of 2027 if he just made his payments. So it would take him 33 months to pay down $10,000 to get this balance to right here, 2.30. 33 months March 2027, which means that 49,401 in interest alone saved. Can you believe that? <laughs> wow. Okay. 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 It's your bedtime. <laughs> Enjoy y'all's finances. <laughs> Thank you for playing. You're, right. You're making awesome. To take this from 240 today, 240, 778 to 230, 778, he could make the payments for 33 months. The payments that he makes currently, 1715 is his payment approximately without taxes and insurance. So he would have to pay 33 months. He would be paying 59,401, but 49,401 of that is nothing but interest. He literally has to do 33 months to get $10,000 in. Now he's already a year in too, okay? This guy said that he's already a year into the mortgage. So let's talk about, I'm not talking about the escrow, I am just talking about what he is actually doing uh, with the money that he is putting into the mortgage, meaning principal and interest. So 49,401 is the interest that he will pay if he does the 33 months into this mortgage, okay? Now, what if he just decided, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and put $10,000 in it because I'm in it to win it. We're going to say that he is going to get a 10,000 LOC or HELOC, doesn't matter. And today, right now, He's going to say, okay, I'm putting this on this balance, and now my balance is $230,778. Now, it took him 33 months to get into it just making the payments, the monthly payments. This is a, a line of credit or a HELOC that he's decided just to throw in there to knock the balance down today. This is done. The $10,000, he, let's say he makes $5,000 a month. It doesn't even matter. Let's say he makes 7,000, maybe he makes 10,000. He will bring his income in. And let's just say that this is at 12%. This is 7.6. 
and this is 12%, which that would be a high for a HELOC or a line of credit right now. With the 12% on $10,000, you are talking about $1,200 a year. So $10,000 times 12 equals $1,200, right? Now remember, simple interest is for the entire year. Then you divide it by 12 if you want to know how much in a month. So $100 is what he is going to pay if it sets at the $10,000 if it sits there. It's not going to sit there because his income is going to go in, knock it down, his expenses are going to come out, so he has a high of 10, a low of 5, and then it slowly climbs back up while he is working his expenses out through the month. He does it again, so you're talking three or four months of payoff depending if his expenses uh, are even 4000 a month, say, and you have to bring that right back out plus his interest, you're still looking at less than a year of paying this off, if it sits at ten thousand for the entire year, it's just going to be twelve hundred. If it sets here, making the payments, I mean, let's just look and see what just one year and compare it. Eighteen thousand ninety-six dollars is his approximate interest for twelve months if he keeps making these payments. Now, you can, you, I mean, it's just math. It's just numbers. It's not that hard. So, which is it? Is it going to be the $18,096 that you're going to pay in monthly payments or $1,200 by using a line of credit? This is what you're dealing with when you're dealing with a mortgage and how that interest is building up. So, to get to the same $10,000 using the payments, Monthly payments for a mortgage is 33 months. Using a one-time line of credit deposit is today. And in that 12 months, he will save $18,096. Or he can pay $1,200 if he leaves it sitting. He's not going to leave it sitting, so we're not going to be paying nowhere near $1,200. So if you make $10,000 a year and you put in $10,000 and you pull out eight, I mean, you're talking... Five months. They could do this every five months. That's how you work a mortgage that you pay it off in five to seven years. This angers some people because we're trained to make monthly payments, right? We're trained to make monthly payments. So if you talk to people, especially somebody at the bank, they will think that, you know, there, there it is right there. You still have to pay the line of credit. Can somebody answer that here without me having to repeat that for the hundredth time? income acts as a payment. That is the first time that I've asked one of these questions where every one of you guys have literally come on and said exactly the right answer. So I'll bet I had 25 people over here. Class gets an extra recess now. Yay! You're welcome. I hope that you guys are really learning. I hope that you are getting your debt under control and I hope that you're finding the peace. I have been studying all of your videos and working out my scenario. I'm planning to pay off my car next Friday. Next Friday. Nice. Good for you. Can you do a zero cash flow to pay down a mortgage quickly? No. You have to have cash flow. I don't figure in the due dates on credit cards. I get that question a lot. Um, like, for example, my credit card, if I use uh, the one that's linked to my checking account, as long as I make that payment after the first, so if it's due July the 28th and I pay it today, then that's not going to apply at all to that July 28th payment. So I wait till after July 1st, then I make the payment and it applies. So the only thing that I even think about when it comes to making the credit card payments is that you are making sure that your deposits are um, applying to that upcoming due date so that you don't miss it because you wouldn't want to miss out on a credit card due date, okay? Because you don't want anything to be late. Now, another question I get is if you make small, like if you have $600 payments due 
and you make $300 this week, $300 next week, uh, you know, do you have to make one $600 payment or do all those micro chunks add up together to meet the payment? Yes, they add up to meet the payment, okay? My mom told me about you and Velocity Banking. Never heard of it until a couple of days ago. It makes sense and I do like logic. Thank you, Landon. It makes sense to me too. I want you all to realize that the only thing about the mortgages and why that's been weighing on me so heavily is I'm having young people come to me and they're so excited about buying a house that they just can't wait. You know, that feeling that you have of, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We are waiting for interest rates to go down before buying a house now. Yes. And that to me is important. I mean, I make suggestions, you make decisions. And the thing is, is that I'm not trying to advise you. I'm telling you all what I would do if I were in your situation. Uh, I'm telling you what I have done to get out of the debt mess and to share that seems like the fair thing to do so that everybody can get uh, on board and get out of the stress of debt. Is, is it just not ridiculous how stressful the load of debt is? Have you been in a marriage where you're having the financial issues that you can't come together on it or maybe you know, you're, you're mad at one another because you're like, well, you need to work more or you need to work more. Dave Ramsey told us we should have two or three jobs and you could deliver pizzas when you get home at 10 o'clock at night. So the marital stress is enough to send this message out there to help people pull it together so that you don't have to be fighting over money. You can be planning your vacations. Oh, this makes me like really fabulous. I should have been doing this the whole time. Guys, you can't see this. I should have been doing this the whole time. Disco Chrissy. <laughs> Where is, where's the Bee Gees when you need them? Um, you can put all of the income that you're going to be charging onto that card. So if you have, you know, your gas, your food, uh, some utilities, uh, your car insurance, uh, all that fun stuff can go on a credit card. So you would add all of your credit card expenses up. And so say that you have gas at 200 a month and you have food at 500 a month and you have utilities that are like uh, 300 a month and that's a thousand dollars. So this is your credit card expenses that can be charged. And then let's say you have added all of your income and you have subtracted all of your expenses for the month and then your cash flow equals a thousand dollars then you would add your expenses the credit card expenses plus the thousand dollars plus whatever that credit card is so if this credit card has a 50 dollars payment a month or a 250 or a 650 you would add it in here so this uh, $22.50, that is what you would put into the credit card. Then only your expenses come out and that's this right here. So your credit card expenses now would be added. This is your total amount you're going to put in. So if you have, for example, using this, if you have a $5,000 balance on a credit card, you would put in the $22.50 for that income right here, okay? You would, that's going to subtract out $27.50. Then your expenses that you're going to charge out, your food, your gas, whatever, they come out through the month. So you're back up to $37.50. See how you started at $5,000? You put your income in, that clears the payment. Then you put your, take your expenses out throughout the month. And then this is your new balance because all you're pulling out is what you're using in food, gas, utilities, what we listed up here. So that's how you figure out what comes out of the credit card, what goes into the credit card. Does that make sense? So the 2000 is your credit card expenses, your cash flow, and then your original payment. All that's in there. All of it stays except for the expenses is going to come back out throughout the month. Can you pay your debt including mortgage with a HELOC? Yes. Yes, the banks always want you to get loans, not uh, LOCs. You tell them you don't want it. Remember what we say when we don't want any loans? We go into the bank and they say, hey, you'll get this loan over here for 4%. That line of credit's at 12. You're going to say, no. N-O, no. 
No means no. Can we get it? No, 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 no. Has a bank ever done anything for you when you needed it? When you needed it and you didn't have the credit to get it? Of course not. It's, it's literally, they're out to make a buck. And if they think that they can loan you some money and make some money, especially off of these mortgages, yeah, they're going to do it. They're not after... They're not after your friendship. They're after your money. I watch you every night. Thank you, Jules. Thank you. Hi, Christy. I found you two weeks ago, and it rearranged my life. I followed Dave for three years and not getting anywhere. Thanks for what you do. Thank you so much, Bobby. Same here. I followed Dave, too. Just found out banks want to keep you on debit cards forever. Well, let's think about why that would be. Because if you keep a debit card, you have to keep money in your checking which keeps them being able to loan out your money to other people. We are family. Okay, guys, I just appreciate you all so much. You all just uh, make it really, really fun to, I feel like that I get amongst the big, you know, back at like, I guess like in the 80s when they had all the clubs and everything and you know, all your friends would like get together. It's kind of like, they don't do that anymore, but it's kind of like fun, you know? Okay, bye guys. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. You all are so precious.